What do you want to do today? Well, it rained last night, so we can't do any of the yard work we were going to get done because everything's still wet. We can't play outside, so we're going to have to be creative. So I'm going to be real honest with you guys. Um, I don't care for snakes. I don't, I don't hate them quite like I hate geese. Geese are jerks. Uh, I don't think snakes intend to be jerks or intend to scare the garbage out of you when you're doing yard work or when you're picking up your dog to dry off his feet. Uh, I told y'all it, it rained this morning. We had a flash flood warning at 5 o'clock this morning, so everything is real good and soaked and still saturated. And so he let the dogs out uh, to use the bathroom. And then I have to dry their feet off, clean them off, make sure there's no mud caked on them so they don't, you know, like, carry that stuff into the house. So anyway, uh, our littlest dog, Tron, he's the one that gets the wettest, the muddiest and everything. So he, he comes running in. I lean down to scoop him up, and there's a tiny, tiny space between, like, the threshold. There's a metal plate over the threshold where it kind of meets the door frame. Uh, and I just happened to notice something squirm in that space. I quickly dried off the dogs and did some investigating and it was a tiny little three line snake which is essentially just a grass snake. But is there really such a thing as just a grass snake when it's in your house? Now I'll admit he hadn't made it into the house yet. But, I consider that door frame to be in my house. So we're, we're looking for a new house <laughs> in the uh, DFW area, if you know of anything that's available. I did deal with the snake. It's a tiny snake. But again, is there such thing as a tiny snake when it's in your house? And we're out for a walk. I uh, needed to clear my head. <laughs> I, I walked by an air vent to get to the nursery to get the baby up from his nap. And I just couldn't help but imagine snakes spilling out of it. You know, a real snakes on a plane situation only happening in my house. <laughs> so I thought maybe a change of scenery would do me good and he loves his new stroller because now he can see the world as it passes by and not just looking up at the sky from his little baby car seat stroller. Uh, so I told Sarah about uh, the snake situation and she responded by sending me links from two houses from Realtor.com <laughs> of uh, places that she likes that we can afford. So I, I <laughs> kind of mentioned it to a friend and he said that I was overreacting a little bit. So I'm curious. Click on this and vote on what you think if, we're over, if moving away because the snake got in the house is an overreaction. Uh, and then tell us in the comments uh, what you would do if you found a snake in your house or making its way into your house. We're curious. Going for walks usually makes this one tired and ready for a nap. So maybe we'll lay down and sleep for maybe an hour, for an hour. And then look at some houses online or something. Since there's a snake in this one, we gotta move. Okay, nap time. This is how naps have been going lately. Not well. Y'all thought I was kidding. Gabriel and I are looking at houses online. Can't hurt to be prepared. You never know. Lately, I have been putting him on his playmat and then just kind of letting him 
and do his own thing. Just to kind of see what he's discovering and figuring out and hopefully he develops a bit of a the ability to crawl that he has discovered his toy basket. Oop, that's gone. Get something new. Mommy's on her way home. Do you feel like sitting in your high chair? All right. Did you have a good nap? Thanks. Silly kid. <laughs> yeah. He does it with such purpose too. <laughs> he yanks and if it. You pull it and you can't get it off. Uh oh. Uh, he starts to get you can see his head start going underneath the <laughs> So I can I gotta only toss just a little bit. <gasps> Yay! Because he had an absolute meltdown one day and he couldn't get it on. Oh, you panicked him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he just headbutted you. Alright. I have snakes to hunt. I got some. Why don't we just call it? <laughs> if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel to see more. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to leave us a comment and tell us what you would do if you found a snake in your house. What we can do to prevent snakes from coming in our house. And anything like that. Alright? Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Ha 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 ha!